as pretty good. So what you'll see a lot of Terrans do, they'll have something like a few medevacs and a lot of marines. And they'll have them. And what should I fight against? Let's fight against some some stalkers. So four stalkers, I'm gonna fight these. So stim. I see. And then obviously they do a lot more damage, the medevac heals them and you just carry on. <laughs> it's very fun. Alright, so that's the Marines. Next we have the Marauder, which is similar to the Marines, it has a bunch of upgrades. It is um, a mecha oh well, an anti-armor unit, the Marauder. It is armored at the same time, and I'll, I'll go into that a bit later, about the armor and stuff. So when you look at the Marauder, you'll notice that it has a few different numbers. It has 13 there, and 26 at the, at the bottom. What that means is, as completely standard, the Marauder will do 13 damage. But if it is fighting an armored unit, it will do 26 damage. So... When it comes to say a fight, if you have you know, a bunch of units, be a bunch of units, you have your marauders. The marauders you want to target on mechanical units. So, oops. sorry, on armored. So, I'll build some of these. So we have two of each. If you get some marauders. Uh. Oh. So, see a marauder will stim as well. Just move some See a marauder will do a lot of damage against these because they're armored. But against these ones, they won't so much because these are light, so they don't get the extra bonus damage. Of course, I still won because I was going faster there. Um, I won't go back to that. Okay, so that is the Marauders. Next, we have the Reaper, which is a very fun little unit. They've been nerfed quite a bit now, so no one really uses these bad boys. The Reaper, um, unfortunately, uh, there are no cliffs on this map, so I can't directly show you. But the Reaper is uh, an anti light unit, as you'll see. It does 7 damage as standard, but 12 to light. So, light would be something like these. This is a light unit. So that's armored. These two are armored. That's light. So unlike the Marauder, his bigger brother, this Reaper will do extra damage to the smaller units and lower damage to the bigger units, whereas the Marauder will do extra damage to the bigger units and less damage to the smaller ones. And by smaller or, or bigger, well, I really mean armored or light and stuff like that. So, yep. Yeah. Damage 13 v armor 26, damage 7 v light 12. Okay, uh, and what you'll note, well, what you'll want to learn about the Reaper, which makes them very, they're a harassment type units. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you, but if you see here, it says jetpack Reapers can jump up and down cliffs. When you jump into a 1v1 or anything like that, you'll see cliffs just hanging about. These can jump up them which is really good because you can get into people's bases very easily and do a lot of harassment or just get a good scout. So the Reaper has a lot of benefits. It can kill the Harvesters, which obviously economic damage is very good. And it, at the worst, it can just see what the opponent is doing. So that's the Reaper. Next, we have the Ghost. The Ghost is a slightly higher tier unit. It's a bit more expensive, you need more tech to get it, like you need the Ghost Academy. If you don't have this, you can't build a Ghost. And you so when you look at the Ghost, it has a bunch of different upgrades. If I go to the Ghost Academy, I can add extra upgrades, Just build a nuke as well. So, here's some. Right, there's Cloak. It can go invisible, which is really cool. It can actually detach its gun so it won't automatically shoot in range of an opponent so if you're just chilling you don't want to attack you're safe and then it stops and then if you bring it back out it starts shooting and then this thing's like um it has something called sniper round which when you look at a lot of the units 
if you're wondering what this little pink bar is right by here, this is something called mana, and mana regenerates, and it can do a lot of damage. Um, or the skills or casts that you use the mana with can do a lot of damage. So if you look at the the sniper, for example, it costs 25 mana, which is 130 out of 200. So we got a lot, yes, and sir. it does 45 damage to a biological oh, unit. Right. So if we see this right here, we can Shot go up to it and snipe. Boom. Boom. Let's That's keep doing it, and we'll just kill it really quick. And we'll do. show you once more. So I can kill him. Like oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I keep carrying on. Yeah, All right. Ooh, and a nuke. So yeah, you can also actually build nukes. Which is so only one per building, so if you can have ten buildings, that's cool, but it's only one nukes. You're so, on. let me just nuke these. You have to be careful, because nukes... There's a few different mechanics in nukes, like for example, if you cancel it, it'll actually still cost money, but you won't get the nukes, so you don't really want to cancel them. And they do 300 damage, and you'll always see, if you're an enemy, if you know, you be a nuke, you'll see a red dot. You won't see like that big scale thing that you've just seen. You just see a little red dot. Very wise. Okay. Okay. So that's basics about the ghost. Next is the factory. So we have the Hellion, which is this little beast by here. Hellions are, as you can tell, they're little vehicles, and their purpose is pretty much dealing with light units. So if we look into their their damage output, we have damage 10, V light 18, the range is 5, the weapon speed is 2.5, and they only attack ground. So, if we get this, and um, let me show you, I need some Zalot. So, Zalot is a light unit, so this benefits, so the Hellion benefits from attacking him. With the Hellion, <coughs> its rate of uh, its fire is a splash, which means anything in a certain radius will all get attacked. So if I put two zealots, just like this, and bring my Hellion down here. These are on hold, so they won't move. And then I attack from here. Then you'll see that the zealots taken damage. But if I come to by here, then they both take damage. So this is a very micro, a microable unit, and the better you use it, the more efficient it becomes. Because you know, you know, if you're in a big battle and there's you know lots of these, or even Hellions against Hellions is really entertaining. Uh, if you get a better lineup of an attack, then you can do a lot more damage. So you'll see people in in professional games where they'll it won't look like they're trying to attack, but really they're just trying to get a good position so they can get a good splash attack. And also, um. The Hellions do a lot of damage against Harvesters because obviously they do splash and Harvesters cramp up all the time. When you also look at the Hellion, we can go in and we can upgrade the flame. And let me bring in another Zealot. So it's gone from 10 for, uh, damage for standard, which is what it was anyway, but V Light is now 23. So that Absolutely. goes up a considerable All amount, I would say. So, there's the blue flame, it's pretty obvious to tell. If you see these, and you have light units, run away. Especially if they're in your mineral line, run. Okay, so, there's the Hellion. Next is the Siege Tank, which is always fun. Siege Tank is a very strategic unit, it allows you to control ground very well and you may ask why okay obviously the siege tank can shoot by itself like this which is it actually does a lot of damage it has a range 7 it does 31 damage for armored so it, it does a good job against these stalkers which are also armored but the best thing about the siege tank is the fact that it sieges so that's why it's called so I can do I can do this I'm gonna start shelling down on that. So anything in this radius, which is 
bloody big radius as you can see you know if this was a normal map that could be two pathways that could be your natural that could be your main base anything that's in this dies pretty much I will show you at a later point more um, mechanics of the game in terms of vision because as a standard unit you actually can't see this far so what you'll normally see is like a box say about that much and if something's right below it, you actually won't attack it because it just straight up won't see it. So, in TVT, for example, you'll notice a lot of Viking play. Um, the Vikings get the air vision, and then the tanks shell. So that's why TVT is very tank Viking heavy sometimes, and that's why they can last so long because you have the vision, and then you make sure that their tanks aren't in range, and you edge up just, you know, just a tiny little bit, and then you'll go, yeah. And then you do that, and you do that, that, and that's the correct way. Of, you know, that's what they call leapfrog in your tanks. This is how you get a good position on someone's base. You know, just edge them up, edge them up. And if you have you know, a bunch of them with air vision, you're very safe. So that's the siege tank. You can come back over here and have siege tank. Next is the Thor. Thor is here. Thor is here. <laughs> yeah, Thor is here. <laughs> All right. So here's Thor. And the Thor is tier 3, this is a very big unit, it's 6 supply of your usual um, supply. So it's a very big unit, it's very expensive, we won't go into cost yet, let's look at the attacks. The Thor attacks ground and air, so it has two, and because it has two different attacks, it has two different boxes with the information. So if we were to look at its ground attack, for example, it's called the Thor's Hammer, it does, th well, with two plus two upgrade it does 36 damage and if you can see it by there it says attacks two that means it attacks twice so it does 36 damage twice its range is seven its speed is 1.28 and that's like I said that's just the ground attack so if we grab a stalker and attack on this you see boom 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 or boom 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 and nice and dead and as you see that's very good and then if we look at the air attack this one's slightly different so this one's a bit confusing right it does 8 damage as standard for you you know just everything and then if it's fighting light units which are like these but obviously this is an air attack so I'll show you a light air unit in a second okay, I won't bother. I'll show you the mobility later so yeah if we look back at that it's um, V light is 16, but its attacks are 4. So if it's fighting a standard air unit, it's going to do 8 damage times 4, which is of course 32. If it's the light, it's 16 damage times 4, which is of course 64 damage, which is a lot. It's a bloody lot. Um, it has a range of 10, which is absurd. That's a massive range. The weapon speed is 3, so uh, it actually doesn't fire that quick, it's 3 seconds if you're wondering and that's 3 Starcraft seconds and of course it attacks air Watch so this. let me oh. oh it's also important to note that the Thor does splash damage so like the Hellion which was here so like the Hellion which does this type of splash damage that's a very, you know, it's a line, anything in that line will get hurt the Thor is slightly different, it has a radius splash. So when it shoots, whenever it hits, the, radi uh, the, ra the splash will radiate from the radius of the attack. So if I put these really close and put them on hold... Oh. Alright, let me just bring them close, you'll see. If I block them up, they'll do a lot more damage. There we are. See what I mean? There we are. I haven't attacked them all, but yet they're, they're all on low health. Uh, the Thor also has something called the Strike Cannon, which is never used, to be honest. And it just gives them a bit of an oomph. It's, uh, it's something that uses the mana, and it's a 100 mana... No, actually, it's 150 mana, is it? Yeah, it's 150 mana, so you can pretty much only use it once when you're on full energy. But it destroys everything, pretty much. It'll also stun and a unit so if say I attack him and he's attacking me he'll stop shooting because he's called he's stunned so now, now, now. Watch. so 
there's a shot, there's a shot, and then they stop shooting. The Thor also, that, that strike cannon attack will do 500 damage over 6 seconds, so it, with all the units, if 